Well, just days before crabbing season, a community dependent on fishing lost a major port to a fire. Well, that's crushing news for the Ilwaco fishermen already suffering from a late season. Fox 12's Julia Lopez takes us to the Washington coast for more on the impact of this disaster. Monday afternoon, a massive fire burned through Ilwaco Landing, devastating this small fishing community just a week before crab season. Obviously coming out of the engine room and seeing the, the landing on fire was, um, it was a shock. I felt like we were uh, back, back at zero, you know. Officials say no one was hurt. The biggest loss, thousands of these crab pots. Remke said he thought he was ready to start the season when he got a call that all 300 of his pots may be a total loss. And he says no one gets paid until the crabs are brought up. A lot of budgets are being stretched tight. Um, you know, a lot, a lot of credits being used. Thankfully, Remke says he later learned most of his pots just need some repairs, but he knows other crabbers who lost upward of a thousand. We have people who have been here for generations. I mean, we've got salmon fishermen, we've got tuna, um, the crabbers, you know, cod, halibut. Port manager Tracy Lofstrom says the entire community is dependent on those fishermen. She says she can't imagine the town without the crabbing industry, which has already been under strain this year. Crabbers can usually start fishing in December. This year, conditions didn't bring enough crabs until February 1st. And that causes, that causes um, economic issues for the crabbers and the community because, you know, we're waiting for moorage. People are waiting for, you know, other things, uh, the sale of crab, you know, restaurants, all kinds of stuff. So. Um, I feel bad for the crabbers when they, they don't get their income started as early as they hope. Crews have been working tirelessly all day long, loading and unloading these crab pots into vehicles like this, just trying to get everything ready for the season to start on Monday. Now we got to, you know, do a couple months work in five days. To aid in the efforts, the fishing community is stepping up. People from northern Washington to the northern California coast have come to Ilwaco to help move the pots that were salvaged and to donate pots of their own. There's a lot of support. Um, there's a lot of uh, people showing up to give a helping hand, um, but it's still just a lot of a lot of effort that we weren't anticipating. Okay, thank you, Julia.